Hello, members of Tech 28. It's Father Rocco here up in Boston. Unfortunately, I can't be with you. I'd love to be with you, but uh, that's not going to happen. In fact, the weather here is really nice, and I'd rather be here than down there where it's a little humid in June, don't you know? But I hope you all have a blessed day and have a wonderful time. Here in New England, uh, it's summer. Uh, the trees have blossomed. Look at that beautiful dogwood tree behind me. Uh, our flowers aren't out yet. It's not as beautiful as it was when I was down in Coral Gables with Tomas. There's beautiful flamboyant trees and orchids growing on the bark of many trees. I was so impressed. It was just wonderful before and after our tech experience. And then meeting all of you and just seeing the, the work of the Spirit. Um, it was just really wonderful. I'm standing here with my friend Francis Xavier, the patron of our community. Uh, when we had the tech, I know we honored in a very special way Saint Joan of Arc, um, the French saint who, because of her faith, was able to defend um, those from corruption and other difficult things that happened in those days uh, with uh, kings and jealousy and all kinds of stuff. It, it, it never changes. We've got it today. But that's our challenge, to witness the way of the Lord um, that will address the corruption and the sin and the selfishness and the lies. Um, politics doesn't have to be a, um, a sport you know, a combat sport. There doesn't have to be competition. It really should be service to the people, especially the most vulnerable. And we know that from our Christian tradition. So anyway, uh, Francis Xavier was a great guy. He was one of the first great missionaries who left Europe. Um, he died in, at 44, a very young age. And he did so much in those four decades, especially the last 20, years uh, when he left Europe um, and um, evangelized up and down the coast of Africa on his way to India. Um, wonderful stories of his faith. Uh, he lost that cross that uh, he's holding. That's the mission cross that each of us are given as missionaries. And he was walking on the beach, much like your beaches down in Florida, praying and uh, he f was given the cross by a crab that found it in the ocean because he was shipwrecked. That's what happened. He lost the cross when the ship was wrecked. And uh, the, the, the crab gave him back that mission cross, a powerful sign. And uh, he went on to witness that um, power of Jesus crucified to the people in the Moluccan Islands, present-day Indonesia, and then Japan. But his wish was to evangelize in China, and he died on the way. So we Zavarians, when we were started in 1895, sent our first missionaries to China in um, um, 1901, and we were there until the 50s. And after that, we diversified to the many countries that we're presently in. And as you know, I spent many years in Sierra Leone. Um, so I wish you well uh, uh, on your reunion. Have a great time and uh, know that I'll be praying with you and uh, vicariously enjoying all the fellowship uh, that is yours and ours. Our, lo our little community within a community um, is blessed. So may God bless each and every one of you. Uh, pray for me and uh, we'll see you next year.